Hi guys, Rinda here. Welcome to my channel. Today, I am going to be trying something new which I announced a few weeks ago. So the something new is each and every single month, I will be reviewing a book from a different African country uh, in alphabetical order. And this is to help those who think Africa is a country and also for so many people to get to know different African countries, why, you know, what comes from them or what they can experience if they want to go on holiday. So today I'm going to be talking about a book from Algeria and before I start I just wanted you guys to know a few facts about Algeria. So number one, uh, Algeria is the largest country in Africa by area. Number two, Algeria is one of the few countries, actually one of the four countries which experiences snow in Africa. Number three, 80% of Algeria is covered by the Sahara, des by the Sahara Desert and today the book which i'm going to review is called our riches by kayotha adimi and she's an algerian french author so our riches is about a bookstore founder called edmund charlotte and his story is told through his diaries so we don't really experience him in the present moment but it's more through his diaries which he wrote like in the 1930s and we get to see the history of algeria because it highlights like certain points in history which really affected the country so we get to know how they celebrated after the war uh, the second world war we get to we get to know more about the protests uh, which happened in 1945 and then in 1961 the protests which took place in, in paris so throughout the book we get to know all these historical things which happened in the book but also we fast forward to 2017 we get to meet another young man who's around the same age uh, taking over the building but now he's turning it into a like a beignet uh, store those are like fritters that's like fritters in French so the, the man who used to live in the building um, Abdallah he ends up like trying to convince the guy like for him to get to know more about the store its history and throughout to get to like um, understand more why it means so much to him as much as Abdallah doesn't he's, he's quite illiterate so he doesn't really know how to read but because word of mouth has got to know more about the building and also because he used to live there so he's kind of attached because now it's being turned into like a, a beignet store it means that he has to relocate so it kind of like it's like Abdullah trying to like merge these two men together from different times different eras and then bringing them together and what I like more uh, what I liked about the book I'm such a sucker for like diction like how people uh, write the books so I'm going to write to read you part of the book which really stood out for me and this is literally uh, the first chapter of the book so it's uh, it calls RJS 2017 so it starts in the present then it goes back in the future it's like sorry it goes back in the past it's like a flashback and then you come back to 2017 so this is what really stood out for me as soon as you arrive uh, as soon as you arrive in RJS you would ha have to tackle the, s the steep steps uh, the steep streets climb and then descend you come on to you come out onto the church Morad. I'm so sorry, I'm so terrible at French. Uh, so many alleyways off to each side, like hundreds of intersect intersecting stories. A few steps away from a bridge that is uh, favored by suicides and lovers alike. This one was what really stood out for me because she's more like painting a picture. I like books where the author shows you, they don't tell you because i like uh having to like picture something for myself so i really liked how she like especially the, the last part where she says a few steps away from a bridge that is uh favored by suicides and lovers alike so already you know like most bridges uh that's where god forbid but some people they commit suicide on bridges and at the same time that's where like lovers meet and you know they're end of war there and i really like that she kind of painted that picture and also as you go by reading the book you kind of see like how when she she's talking about what you see when you're going down the street it's like you're literally walking down the street so that's something which i really liked when i was reading the book so i'm going to be keep i'm going to keep doing this thing where i'm going to be reviewing a book from a different african country and next month I'll be reviewing a country from a B country, a book from a B country, and I would love you guys to tell me like other books you know from different African countries. You know, I would really love to you know 
to read all of them just just a way of me traveling around africa in my own room or you also traveling around africa in your own house because with this whole lockdown thing it seems like it's going to take a very long time you know for us to start traveling and i think this is like an escape for me for me to kind of see the world through different lenses you know and i think it's a very good thing and you could try it too and if you want we can talk about the book in the comment section and i hope you have a great day and don't forget to wear a mask wash your hands social distance until next time goodbye <laughs>